Hey everyone, Paul here with Diode Dynamics, and today we're taking a look at Ford rectangular or square style fog lights. Now, you'll find these most commonly on the previous generation F-150 and Super Duty, but these are also used in a lot of custom kits because they're a nice compact shape, pretty good performance, and very simple mounting. Today we're gonna to be looking at a variety of models on the market. We have the Ford factory halogen, as well as the factory LED, which is a reflector style. And then the first aftermarket option that came out, which was the Morimoto with that projector style lens. And then we saw a huge range of different knockoffs uh, of that Morimoto style. Finally, just recently, we released our F2 style fog light here at Dive Dynamics. This has been designed from the ground up and assembled here at our facility. And while it looks the same, as we'll see, there's a lot of differences and added features you'll only get in that Diodynamics version. But today we're gonna to show you the performance and features of all of these lights, starting with the Ford Halogen. Let's get into it. So of course, the most basic option here, it's full plastic construction, pretty much what you'd expect from a factory fog light. It's got that yellowish halogen output color, but it's gonna be a decent pattern at 80 by 10 degrees and a maximum of 4100 candela. You'll see most of that light is a small band at the top though. With that halogen bulb, these will be operating at 42 watts and a gradient or sharpness of this pattern is 0.11. Just keep that in mind as we compare the sharpness of other patterns. This will be an F style beam pattern as well. Now, I mentioned that this has an F fog light pattern. And what I mean by that is the style of the fog light output. In the US, the SAE standard allows for two different styles, an F or what's called an F3, just based on the marking. You can actually look at the front of your factory fog lights and you'll see either F or F3. Now the F is the more traditional style and it's usually gonna be a little bit taller and generally the light doesn't need to be quite so well controlled. In an F3 fog light, it's actually what they also use for ECE standards. It matches what's used in Europe and it calls for a more precise pattern. Generally, you're gonna get a little bit sharper a little bit more precise outputs with that more modern F3 standard. Moving right along, we've got our factory LED light from Ford. Now, big difference in the construction here, full metal, which applies to the rest of them on this table. And it's that nice big LED reflector design. Very effective, but very simple. Now with that output, we're just changing up a bit. We have a lot wider of an output, which most people prefer when it comes to fog lights, but it's a bit shorter as well. It's pretty even all the way across. We got a nine watt power level on this with just over 5,000 candela. The gradient or sharpness of the pattern is gonna match the halogen at 0.11, and it also has an F pattern. These are gonna run about $180 if you're looking to upgrade from your factory halogen. Next up is our first aftermarket option, and that's the Morimoto. These have been on the market for some time. They're built with the full metal construction uh, out of Taiwan with that toroidal lens in them, or projector style optic as you might call it. Now that produces a really wide pattern at 90 degrees, but it's only a six degree tall spread, pretty short uh, or narrow of a beam pattern. And they're only running at about nine watts, which matches the OEM LED. So unfortunately with only 6,000 candela, they're really not much of an upgrade over that factory halogen or factory LED for general illumination. But they do have a sharper beam pattern at 0.15 gradient. So it's a nice cosmetic upgrade with that more refined output level. These are an F pattern as well, and they'll run you $233. They're actually the most expensive option on the table here. Next up, soon after the Morimoto's hit the market, there was a slew of knockoffs and copies coming out of domestic China. And they really tried to copy the beam pattern exactly. Uh, you can see the same style of optic, and they do achieve that. A little bit wider actually with this model, 95 degrees, with that same really narrow six degree tall pattern. The difference is, even though these are running at the same power level, nine watts again, they're much less efficient with that optic, only producing about 3,400 candela. Um, the sharpness is about the same as factory with the 0.12, nothing wrong with that, but it's actually, these don't even have the marking to tell you what type of pattern they are, just the telltale signs that it's really an inferior product. These are only gonna run about $80 a set, but just keep in mind, it's a pretty big downgrade from the factory fog lights. Now the last option is the one from us at Diodynamics. That's our Elite Series fog light. Now at first glance, it looks pretty similar to the others. The same style of toroidal lens, the same all metal construction, 
But if you take a closer look, there's quite a few features that set these apart from the other options. We set off to design these as performance fog lights. The first thing is the beam pattern. These employ a technology called asymmetric beam patterns, which essentially just means the left one is gonna shine more to the left, the right one shines more to the right, and you kind of overlap. The result is you get a really, really wide output pattern. For these, it's over 105 degrees. To our knowledge, these are the only fog lights on the market, on the aftermarket, that employ that technology. It's actually pretty common with factory headlights and fog lights these days. The next thing is the overall output. As you can see, the overall beam height is about seven degrees with that really wide spread. But we actually increase the power. Instead of the nine watts you see as kind of the default factory power level, these run at 14 watts for the white fog light. And that's gonna allow us to achieve a maximum intensity of 11,300 candela. Now that peak intensity is almost double any other aftermarket or factory option. And it really gives you a great illumination on the road while still maintaining the really wide pattern. We also spent a lot of time to really design the optic from the ground up. Even though it looks the same as others, it's much more modern and sophisticated with those optical surfaces. That gives us a huge amount of intensity and it allows us to achieve the F3 standard where that light is more controlled. That's also clear with the cutoff, which is a 0.5 gradient, just razor sharp, really aesthetically pleasing compared to the other more average cutoff options on the table. Also, these Diodynamics fogs come in a selective yellow color, which is a really distinctive look and not something you see from factory options or other aftermarket very often. The yellow is a great way to stand out and still is a huge increase in output. Now at this point, you can probably tell I'm a little biased for the Diodynamics option. My team and I spent a huge amount of time designing, engineering, and assembling these here in the US and we're really proud of it. These provide a great performance upgrade, but we didn't stop there. These also have a built-in backlight feature just as a little bit extra. Now, that's not gonna be a running light or anything that's gonna be projecting light to the road, but it's just a nice amber ambient light to match other amber lights on your truck when the fog lights aren't in use. You don't have to use that, but it's just a great extra feature to pack in with these lights. And all this, we offer these at $220 very competitive compared to the other options that falls right in between the options you can find between factory and the other aftermarket selections. So I hope this video has allowed you to learn a bit more about the fog light options for your F-150 Super Duty or a custom application. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us or check our website or a dealer to pick up a set for yourself. Thanks for watching.